Hi beauty fam, welcome back to Mickey Car Beauty. I'm Mickey and on my channel I love to talk about luxury skincare and beauty. And today I'm going to be doing um, a get ready with me and then trying out some new makeup that I recently got in the mail. So I wanted to show this beautiful Dior Lunar New Year box that I got with my order. And some people will say Chinese New Year and I think in their materials for Dior, they do say Chinese New Year. Um, in my house and in my community, we say Lunar New Year to be inclusive. Um, in my family, we're actually um, Vietnamese heritage. And so we say Tet Lunar New Year. And so um, I'm really into this red because uh, this entire month we're celebrating Tet Lunar New Year on the weekends with friends and family. So I'm super excited. I did not expect this packaging. So I'm gonna go ahead and open this. So there's a dragon up here. This is definitely a box I'm going to keep and not throw away. I do keep more of my limited edition boxes from the likes of Dior. So I'll be excited to keep this one and showcase it on my dresser. Okay, so we're gonna go ahead and open the box. I actually like to keep the bow intact if possible. And actually I do keep my bows. If some of you have followed me before, I actually have a Christmas tree that I put up and I call it my beauty Christmas tree. And I keep the the uh, ribbons and I actually end up putting the ribbons on the tree or like future gifts as well. So that is what the Dior ribbon looks like for Lunar New Year. Okay, so I'm gonna open the box in front of you. And this is what is on upon opening. So we have some Dior red envelopes, Lysi. Um, Chinese folks say a different word, but in Vietnamese culture, uh, it's Lysi and it's a red envelope, the lucky red envelope. And yeah, these are so pretty. I am not gonna be using these. And usually an elder will give cash to children or if like an older person to a younger person, you usually want to give money that is new crisp dollars if you can. And my kiddo usually gets this from family and friends during this holiday season. So um, these are beautiful. Oh my gosh. Beautiful. Okay, and then it comes like this. And Dior has some of the best packaging, really. It just, if, my, if I were going to rate like for makeup, Dior, then Chanel, maybe Guerlain. And this is what is in my box. Okay, so I ended up getting the lipstick, which was in this collection, the Mitza collection, and then the Dior Sepia. And then I don't know what this is. Oh, I know what this is. Okay, we'll go with this. So uh, I've ordered from Dior before. And if you're, um, if you've ordered from Dior, make sure to sign up, um, as a member. I have, I think silver status because I've ordered a couple of things to them the past two years. And then when you get certain statuses, you are invited to certain events and have access to certain gifts. So this is, I think the gift I got with this, maybe I'm not sure. Honestly, I don't remember. This was ordered quite a while ago. So get this really cute Dior packaging. And these are the lipsticks. So let me see what lipstick colors these are. One lipstick color is 999 Velvet, which is kind of like their classic red. And then there's a 000 Dior Natural Satin Balm. But I'm not going to use it. It's just like the classic Dior Red. Oh, this looks like a balm. Okay, so it's a balm. It does have a kind of like that florally smell. Um, I actually don't know if I'm going to keep this. I might actually give this as a gift and a giveaway. We'll see. I, I have a lot of reds and I actually have this Dior red already. So it'd be nice to either put this in a giveaway or as a present. I'll, I'll figure it out. And then we have the wonderful Mitza release and a Christian Dior. It is a cardboard packaging, but it's beautiful. I mean, how hot is that? So that will stay on my dresser as well. And this is the corresponding lipstick that I got with it. So it didn't come in it, but it will fit in this box as well. And I got the color 200 New Touch in Satin. And this is the Ruzia Color Couture Color Lipstick Floral Lip Care Longwear. And I'll show you what it looks like. 
I think this case is recyclable too. Yes, you can, once I'm done with this, I can actually replace this case, which I think is pretty cool. So that is what the Christian Dior packaging looks like. And this is the color. I wanted more of like a nudie color, more brown. This might be more orangey brown than I was wanting, but we'll see. My camera phone, which actually does images um, up close up more. Beautiful. And that's what something that Dior does really nicely is the embossing on their lipsticks and their um, lipsticks and their eyeshadow case. So this is what the box looks like and that's meant to be in there. And that's part of the collection, mix the collection. Now certainly like, <laughs> I mean, it is just a cardboard box, but I mean, they just do packaging so well at Dior. It's just, yeah. <laughs> and then we have the Dior Quint in $4.99 Browns Sepia. And they came out with two colors. One was uh, this one, which is more warm tone. And then they have one that's like a reddish pink, a light pink. And I'm just not into the red tones. And like when pink is done, it has to be like a certain kind of pink in order to show up on my tan skin tone. So that it was like too red. And then there was like too light of pink. So I didn't end up getting it. So here is a first look at the bronze sepia. And that's how it comes in this packaging. Let's see the Dior. And that is what the Dior Bronze Sepia palette looks like. And I love a warm tone palette like this. I'm a, like, it'll be a, like a light warm, but there's enough warmness and reddish that it'll show up. Um, yeah, that'll be a fun palette to play with. Okay, so I am back in my base and my face is done already. I just wanted to get that out of the way for the filming I have on my face for foundation Dior Backstage 3W0 and then I use the Tasha Silk Canvas Primer and then I have the Kevin Aquan Kev, Kevin Aquan Contour love this product um, in deep it's like my favorite powder contour um, powder and then for bronzer, I have the, the Victoria Beckham Matte Bronzing Brick in 04. And so I have that on my face and I've actually powdered down with the Sicily, Sicily Matte 2, the Sicily Matte 2 powder. Okay, so, um, and on my under eyes, I'm actually wear testing the new, the new Chanel Sublimage Concealer. And I have that in shade 40. So we'll see how that hands out. I didn't powder it down, so we might change my, I might change my mind. Okay. So I'm grabbing the Dior Quint in bronze sepia for 99. It is beautiful. I haven't swatched this yet. So I'm going to try to do swatches here, but then also nicer swatches. In and that is what the bronze sepia swatches are. This one at the um, end is the matte shade. And these more like satins and that's like a satiny matte. That's the middle shade. I'll show you from here. I'm gonna grab my Hakuhodo J5522 brush. I've been using my Hakuhodo brushes a lot. For the crease shade. That was a super easy shade to blend. It's a beautiful orangey brown color. Beautiful. Okay, so I'm gonna go into this shade here with a different brush and warm up the outer V and just kind of add some depth to the shadow. What's so nice about these Dior Quints is that they're so easy. You don't have to use all of the colors. You could use at most two, maybe three if you want. And it is designed for ease of use. So when I talked to the um, Dior 
representatives, they say that you can use this for daytime, this for nighttime, but because um, I'm deeper skin tone, like I would definitely use this for evening and this, I don't know, I would use this as like a brightening, lightening. Um, you can also use this quint this way or this way or use this side or this side. And that's the way the quints are designed that you can use any of these color combinations in th twos or threes and they're going to be cohesive color story. Okay, so I just used that brown to just deepen up my outer V and that's this is how I do my eye makeup because I have hooded lids. And then I often I just want to look ahead and just keep my eyes open and know that that's what I'm kind of warming up is that spot here. And because I have hooded lids, I usually want to bring that color out more under the crease. Do you see that orangey brown color? Because if I don't bring it above into that like fatty fold part, then I don't see any of the color. Like you just don't with hooded eyelids. And there's different types of hooded eyelids. I have like slightly hooded eyelids because I do. you do see some of this here when I do open my eyes, but some people don't have that at all. But this is like a trick that, it's not really a trick. It's just like how to do eye makeup for people with, um, different eye shapes or diverse eye shapes. Okay, so just going into that color again to build it up, I want to use this as like the shimmer shade is like the mobile shade I want to use all over. That shimmer shade right here. And I'm using um, a Sonia G soft shader brush from the Sky series. I love the Sky series. It's really made for people with smaller eyelids, hooded eyelids. Okay, so that is that look. I could stop there. So this is a Hakahodo J Hakahodo J242 brush. And it has a flat edge similar to the refer. Here we go. Come on. Refer 2 brush. Sorry, it's having a hard time. There we go. It's like a refer 2 brush. And then I'm grabbing that for that like shade that peachy shade where is it this one and i'm gonna put that in my lower lid and i'm just running it along the entire lid i'm a little sloppy sorry not sorry <laughs> just trying to get my makeup done and then i'm gonna go in with a refer to brush and go into this um this deeper brown color because it's got a flat edge and then just using that to deepen up the edge here. Okay. I would say that I do wish there was like a deeper color in here because for me and for deeper skin beauties, this palette might not be warm enough, but the shimmer shades might be something you're interested in, in terms of like they might pop in a different way if you have deeper skin tones. Okay. So the last thing I'm going to do is then take this, um, it's like a satiny matte color, this one, and use that as my inner corner highlight. And that's where that Dior embossing is, the name. It's like a peachy pink color. I'm just using that also for my crease. Okay. And this is the part where I'm just like, oh my God, it looks like a hot mess. You gotta trust the process. <laughs> um, taking a clean 03 Wayne Goss squirrel hairbrush. What I'm doing is just kind of cleaning up the edges and then buffing and then just kind of blending as much as I can. Okay, so let me finish the other eye and then I'll be back. Okay, beauty. Okay, beauty fam. I'm back and I finished the eye look. So let me get in close for you. Actually, I'll, I'll come in close to you. And that's what the final eye look is looking like. I, let me tell you what I did. I took a Dior liner. This is something I got last year in the middle. I think I want, to, I want to say spring. This is a liquid liner and it's the color rust, but it comes off as more of a brown. And I'm a little disappointed in that it's starting to dry out already. So won't be getting any more Dior liquid liners because I'm really picky about my liners. Like they need to last at least a year. Um, and then for my mascara, I use this uh, Chantecaille faux seals at the bottom 
and the top I used a sample of the Chanel Volume de Chanel mascara. This is one of my favorite volumizing mascaras. And to tight line a little bit and add more dimension because that uh, liquid eyeliner wasn't working so well, I used the Wayne Goss pencil. And this is my favorite one. I can't remember the color. It's like a brown with a little bit of um, glitter in it. I like this so much. You can see I'm almost down to the nib and um, kind of wish like the letter was there, like the, the description of what it was, but I'll find out what it is and put it below. But I love the Wayne Goss liners. They're so great. They're like traditional coals where you could smudge them out and they're just like old school. I love them. Okay. So this is what the eye look is looking like. I think it's pretty on brand to what Mitsa is. It's got that leopard print, a little bit of throwback. It's a very basic quad. It's warm toned. You, you can't go wrong with it if you're a warm tone lover. It's going to be pretty like every day. Like I could use this, I could use this quad, this Quint going to work. I think it's very classic. I mean, all of the Dior Quints are beautiful. They're just all like everyday kind of wearable, wearable color stories. Is it original? No, but I am a sucker for warm tone Quints. Okay. And I just put some merit lip oil on my lips because they were getting really dry and i'm using the color taupe just to moisturize before i put on this lipstick i do want to finish with a dior blush i'm grabbing my charnel this is one of my favorite blushes in my entire collection not just dior i don't have actually too many dior blushes i think i only have two or three this is like i don't know how to describe it other than it's like a beautiful kind of like neutral color it reminds me of like a the desert orchid color from pat mcgrath that, that she came out with last year but look how beautiful that blush is and i would have to say my favorite blushes Ooh, it's tied with like dior and suku like i love their powder blushes i just think they're beautiful it used to be you know chanel used to be up there but then they reformulated so they're out for me um i love the dior blushes as long as there's no glitter or perfume in it this has no scent and just look at that it's just so beautiful I don't feel like I need like highlighter there's almost like a, a little bit of luminosity to this but not in a bad way where it's gonna emphasize lines and whatnot it's just a beautiful beautiful blush and I'm over blushing just so you can see what this is looking like um yeah I think between Dior and Suku melting powder blushes or just all Suku blushes are like my favorite formula um, and then it goes Pat McGrath and then Dior or Chanel is last, or yeah, Chanel is last at this point. Okay. So why don't I finish up with lipstick? This is that Christian Dior Mitza limited edition packaging. Beautiful. It's leopard print all around. And I think with this collection, two colors came out. One is, I don't know how many colors came out. I'll, I'll put the numbers below, but I, this is the color. I think there was five. And this is the color that resonated with me most. And maybe I don't have this color also. This is why I ended up getting this color. So I'm going to pat down some of this oil so it doesn't affect the color. And so I got the color 200 Nude Touch. And it's a satin formula. There is a scent to a lot of the Dior lipsticks I'm not a fan of. I'm not a fan of the Dior perfumes. That's just me. This is a preference. But um, thankfully there was no... Um, there's no scent in the eyeshadow, but there is on this lipstick. So just kind of letting you know, and this is what the lipstick is looking like. And then I'll do a swatch right here. Just one swatch and let me see if I can build it up just so you can see. So that looks almost orangey and then the built up, it looks a little bit more, um, it's almost like a pink color to it. I'm wearing Dior um, nail polish today. What color is it? My nail polish is Dior Riviera 440. This is from the release last year, Riviera collection as long as well as this uh, eyeliner was part of the Riviera release. Okay, so I'm going to put this on. And that is 200 Nude Touch. I 
I think it's beautiful. This is kind of like the lipstick that's going to look different on different skin tones and undertones. I think because I'm wearing, in real life, I'm actually looking at myself in the mirror, it actually turns a little bit more, um, with this outfit, it looks beigey pink, but I'm looking at the camera, I'm wondering how it's going to turn out when I do editing. It looks a little bit more pink and peach, which I'm not mad about. It looks really pretty with this entire look. It's very feminine, very delicate, very Dior, very on brand of like delicate, classy, very subtle in the makeup. Um, really love it. I already have the Dior Charnel, I think, of this whole color story together. Um, the Dior Charnel is number um, four or five, nine. I do believe it's still available, warm, medium brown, and I'll put the links below if um, you wanna purchase that. I think these two go beautifully together. And even the quad, the quad or the quint goes beautifully too. I mean, the color story is all cohesive. Beautiful, I'm so glad. I'm, it's like sometimes finding, um, trying to find lipstick online can be challenging for me because I never, usually when they're doing swatches, it's not like anyone with my skin tone or undertone. So I'm always kind of like guessing blindly. So I'm really happy with the color. Um, I do still smell the scent, but it's not like overwhelming. It can dissipate after a while. I'm okay with it because I love the Dior colors. It's not my favorite, but again, um, I have quite a number of Dior lipsticks that I also love. So yeah, so I think that's the final look for this collection for the Mitza Brown Sepia. Let me know what you think. I think this is beautiful. I'm really happy I got it. You know, I usually don't make a judgment until the whole look is together because sometimes even before I do the actual finish on the eye makeup, it looks a little dodgy. But I think with all of this, it looks really beautiful. I can see myself wearing this color combination together and it going really well together. Yeah, I definitely would recommend it. Um, I don't have time for swatches, but I'm gonna pull two Dior. I don't have a lot of Dior lipsticks that match this. Um, mostly they're reds and then pinks. So I'm really happy this is kind of like a beigey pink. This is like the first color I've seen from Dior that I really like. So I'm happy I got that. I'm going to pull two Dior Quints out. This is the, um, I just wanted to compare. So here is the Bronze Sepia from the Mitza collection release. And this is uh, the Color Story Dune 759. I think this came out, I want to say last year. And so the vibe, um, this is very orangey. This is like dune. It reminds me of like desert. It reminds me of the color story of the Byredo Kalahari Desert or the Kalahari <laughs> um, palette that came out last year that was um, hard to get. But let me see if I can do some swatches of this. I love this uh, palette. It is a little bit more sheer and glittery compared to this formula. It's a lot different, but I'll swatch some here so you can see. I like this in the summertime when I don't want to do heavy makeup. And that's why I really love this color story. You can see it's very light and shimmery where this is a little bit more bold. Uh, the, the formula is definitely different. This is before they did the reformulation. I'm seeing a, a pattern with Dior where they have um, like a satiny matte, three shimmers, and a matte. And that, that matte that is the new formula that they're coming out with. It's like very creamy, very pigmented, but really easy to use. And that you saw me use that in um, majority of my crease. And I'm actually wiping some off so you can see. I just want to show you like how easy it is to use this shade. And I'm so I'm going back in and layering more just to like accent the color more. And so I think this could be this color in particular. It's got some dimension and that by itself, it looked a little bit more orange, but as it's layered and I'm building up colors, it looks more like a rust brown, which is beautiful. Can you see that? It's really, like, there's a little bit of like a dynamics that change depending on the light 
and what it's what I'm wearing and whatnot. So I just love their formula. I definitely love this new formula of Dior more than the old one. This is like, I'm keeping this because I love that color story. And then I grabbed the, I think this is the 20, I want to say 2019 release from the holiday collection. 20, 21, 2020, 2021. It's this one, which is the Atelier of Dreams uh, iconic eye makeup, Dior Ecrine Couture. And some people have taken this out and made this into a wallet. I haven't done that yet. I will once like these expire, but I do enjoy using this palette like out of this box. I just don't want to take it out. So this is like a very basic color story. And I think they were smart to make a very basic color story for this holiday collection because um, it's just more accessible to people. They don't want anything crazy. Um, let me show you that last one. So that is from the Dior Ecrine palette. Very similar vibes. This is a bit more shimmery. It reminds me more like the desert, whereas this is more like a basic warm palette. Uh, but there are definitely some similarities. Like the vibe is similar. I think this is more orange, whereas I'm really, the formula for, this is a really beautiful color. You can see it's like a brown, rusty orange. This one, and that's from the Dior Ecrine. And then, um, this is just a little bit different. This is a deeper color. This here is from the Bronze Sepia, and this is from the D the Adio Ecrine Holiday one. So it's like a little bit fancier. There's more shimmer to it. Um, it's definitely, it's got a color with more zhuzh in it. As opposed to this, it's like, it's like a rusty brown. It's really pretty. But so it's not an exact dupe, but the sim vibes are similar. I'm still happy I got this palette. Um, I do love warm tones. Um, I do find that I really like this new Dior reformulation. I kind of like it more than the Chanel color stories or Chanel qualities. Chanel has some interesting um, color stories sometimes, but I think Dior in terms of the quality and kind of giving you a variety, they... You, Chanel usually has like four shadows where the quince in Dior has five so that you have a little bit more variety in what you're getting and there's something about the quality of these shadows I actually do enjoy more than than Dior. I enjoy these Dior quality of these eyeshadows more than the Chanel. Like I can see why people were really disappointed with the Chanel Tweeds collection because I don't think the quality was as great as something like this. I just feel like Chanel is like a classic, basic, basic person, beautiful um, collection. I hope that was helpful, beauty fam. And if you haven't subscribed to my channel already, please hit the subscribe button here and below. Um, and then you can get notifications of all my videos when they go up and then ring the notification bell as well. And please leave a comment and like below and tell me if what you think about this color story. I know it's pretty basic, but if you've tried Dior Quince, let me know what your experience is with the quality of Dior or if you used to use them, what you think about the new um, quality. Tell me what you think about this lipstick. I'm just like, I love it. I love it. I'm always looking for like a classic kind of like everyday brownie nude with a little peach. And sometimes that can be hard for me to find. So I'm glad I found that. Um, yeah, let me know. And then let me know what makeup you're kind of into this season or any content you would like to see from me. Um, so be kind to yourself and others and just be you beauty fam until the next video. Take good care. Bye.